fungus gnats and truer fly, just a little bit of a kind of refresher here on what you have when you're looking at the life cycles of a larvae poofal and nymph of the fungus gnat, and then a shore fly as well. Again, All as right, we talked uh, about feeding on the callus, feeding on that cutting. Yep, feeding on the base. Yep. Okay. Again, you're, you've had this crop for four or five months. Um, this is where your a little bit of nematodes can help you out a long way. If you can keep the moisture and your soil up, nematodes are a wonderful thing. But if you dry out the soil, if you if you cycle dry, your nematodes die. So just yep. keep that in mind. Cycle dry, nematodes die. So white fly, yeah. White fly, uh, you know, we have two different, you know, biological cold. Yeah, more biologicals are used for white fly every year. Um, this is one of the points where I like to kind of know what you have as far as your neighbor is concerned. The white fly aren't exactly the known to be the best flyers out there, even though they're called white fly. Um, but if you have, for example, soybeans, uh, I would say are crop number one uh, in my book, that if it's your neighbor next to your vent that's growing a crop of soybeans and goes through and starts to harvest, make sure you're paying attention or, you know, be good neighbors. Ask your, your farmer to give you a heads up. That way you can close some vents ahead of time. That way all that white fly doesn't come right into your greenhouse. I'd, I'd have to say up through cotton and strawberries on that list of neighboring crops to, to pay close attention to. And again, I think James has got a great point. Have a conversation with the farmer as to when he's going to harvest or when he's going to spray down the cotton or what he's going to be doing so that you have some sense of how to manage your the pressure because you'll get these waves. I mean, an unbelievable waves of white fly pouring into your greenhouse. And typically those white flies are very easy to kill, right? Because they're outside. They're not the greenhouse that we're, we're talking about, you know, and it's not something that is generational within. This is where your monitoring program, whether, yep. you, you know, at some point you should have sticky cards out there. You should be starting about now to kind of see what levels of white fly you do have carrying into uh, your uh, later finishing of crop as we start to close in from uh, outside vents, right, continuously. So we don't have that outside pressure coming into the greenhouse. And then also, uh, uh, you know, take a look under and make sure you're identifying here between your greenhouse white fly. And uh, I think you have a picture of the next one um, of your brasemia, right? Your silver wing, which is not nearly as bad. Silver leaf, excuse me. So, so the, now the mesia is actually the worst one. Oh, oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. The mesia sweep tip white fly is the one where you get the Q and B biotypes. So that's the one that can have the, 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 the resistance pressure on it. Um, so new chemistry seems to be working against the mesia, but again, um, you know, we've seen over the years past the Q biotypes get loose and, uh, really kind of explode. So it's important, have, important to know which one you're dealing with. Yeah, and we do have newer chemicals to evaluate. Um, it seems that RICAR has been very effective. Uh, I apologize to the people in New York because uh, I don't think it's still allowed in certain parts of New York State to be used. In Canada, sorry guys. Um, yeah, so anyway, just white fly, you know what you got. There's a lot of good references out there. Uh, there's a lot of good support from the, the chemical industry about how to do this from the biological industry. If you're going to go the bio route, definitely go, go with, the, um, with the professionals. Let them put a program together for you. Yep. And some yep. Uh, recommendations. Don't, don't break the rules. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. So again, more charts. More recommendations, more things that you can use. 